love how Seneca describes God, the universe, as nature. It takes away any image of what we perceive God is and just makes it into something beyond our comprehension. What I want to talk about today is the laws of nature. In my humble opinion, in my experience with what's happened to me in life, and I try and make things so simple for myself because I need it. I'm a dummy. I need things to be simple. And I've broken it down into two laws, everything, two laws. And that is you either go in the right way or you're not. So you've got law of attraction and all these other things, which is great. But you're either still going, going the right way or you're not. So what do I mean by that is that if you, if you want something and, and you attract it into you, manifest it into your life, that's great. That means that that was serving you to your purpose in this moment, which is awesome. So you get a tap on the bum, keep going, look for something else to manifest. But where most people go wrong is, is that when they get something that, when they go in the wrong way and they get something that feels negative or a bad situation, they get the shits and you know turn to addictions and they can't handle it right because everyone wants something everyone wants to be feeling like they're going the right way but you don't figure out you're going the right way until you know you're going the wrong way and that's where i've stuffed up big time because i thought i was going the right way and kept getting you know red lights red lights until i finally slapped myself in the face and said hey dummy go the other way and then i started getting green lights so the two laws of nature, you're going the right way, you're going to get synchronicities and people helping you along the way, you're manifesting things, that's great. But the red lights, they come to you very often if you go on the wrong way and they get redder and redder. So, you know, worse situations happen, more anxiety, more depression, more intense feelings of frustration and anger keep compounding if you keep going the wrong way. Of course, if you go in 100 Ks the wrong way, and then you go on 150 or 200 and then a thousand kilometers the wrong way, you're gonna get angry, <laughs> of course you are, right? So you have to yeah, acknowledge that and go the other way. If you keep getting signals of frustration or depression or anxiety, be objective and see, okay, what is the lesson? Why am I not understanding the message behind what's happening to me? It's as simple as that. Once you bring that mindset and start asking the question of what do I need to do to stop attracting this stuff? What do I need to do to learn from these bad situations that keep happening to me? If you're single or if you've got bad health or you're constantly depressed or whatever, you're on medication, whatever it is, take ownership and start to figure it out. Be humble, surrender, ask questions, ask, look for help. Don't turn to addictions and cover-ups and band-aids. The wounds never heal. You're either going the right way or you're not. If you're not going the right way, there's a reason. You're not ready for whatever it is you want. You need to do some work. It's as simple as that.